Hi, Steve Lay here, Lay2 Real Estate. Thanks for dropping by for this week's uh, real estate market update. Uh, we'll start off with a Perth market snapshot. Uh, as of four weeks ago, there is actually an increase of 25% thereabouts in sales. And uh, that's, that's a pretty good sign that the, uh, the market's quite strong for buying. In terms of listings though across Perth, it's actually only slightly down on where it was uh, four weeks ago, but down 23% from 12 months ago. So the trend is down. Now, no spring, no spring. What does that mean? We're in spring. Normally we've got a, a, a captive uh, seller, you know, sellers wanting to sell their properties, but now spring has sprung, but yet there's no real rush to get properties on the market. It seems that the COVID market has changed the way people think about real estate. It appears, uh, anecdotally from talking to other real estate agents as well, is that there's a lack of stock. So it is definitely going down. As I said, there's a 23% decrease in stock on the market. So it appears people are happy to stay where they are. However, having said that, the buyers are everywhere. There's buyer strength in the market. So if you're thinking of selling, now's a really good time to put your home on the market if you're thinking of selling. If you're sure about what you want to do and where you want to go, then I would certainly uh, contemplate putting it on the market. Give us a call, 9371 000, and we'd be happy to chat to you about that. Now with Bayswater, our core suburbs, Bayswater, Bassendine, Bedford, Morley, Maylands, and, and uh, let's have a chat about those. Four sales in Bayswater last week, one villa, one apartment, one block of land, and one house. Uh, not normally more than that, seven to 10 sales a week, we're down to four. Uh, congratulations to Robin at uh, Grosvenor Road. Uh, that property went under offer in the low 700s. Uh, we had 70, sorry, 73, 37 groups of people through that property, uh, giving us uh, two offers, which we negotiated out and the property went under offer. So what that actually means is, we've got 36 buyers that haven't got a property. So, thinking of selling? Yeah, give us a call. So buyers, we've got, we've got buyers ranging from uh, 400s right through into the 900s. A few buyers there up to a million, just over a million at the moment. Very healthy database of buyers. If you're thinking about selling, now's the time to do it. Give us a call, 9371-1000 or email us at uh, steve at lay2.com.au. Swinging over to uh, Bassendine, a little bit further out, uh, seven sales last week being pretty consistent and uh, the buyer activity is actually increasing in that area, uh, especially between the $500,000 to $700,000 bracket. Uh, as I say, very active, lots of properties uh, to choose from, sorry, not a lot of properties to choose from, can't read my own writing. Um, captive audience, like I said, great time to sell if you're thinking of selling. Now, Bassendine is a, another suburb like Bayswater, Riverside area, got character homes, you know, people from Bayswater gravitate out towards Bassendine. So the database that we have here in Bayswater actually is a very good database to use if you're thinking about selling in Bassendine. We can bring those buyers to you. Over to Bedford. Bedford, come alive. Nine sales last week. So active with buyers, finally uh, making decisions on buying in the area after there being some stock on the market, but low turnover this week you know, away they went to buy. So it, it seems like people are, because of a lack of stock, are making buying decisions in that suburb. So strike while the iron's hot. If you're thinking of selling in Bedford, give us a call. Buyers are there, ready to go. We're happy to come and chat to you, 9371-1000 or steve at lay2.com.au. Morley, very, very consistent. Nine sales again last week. It's a very, very steady suburb. Um, Buyers are super active. There's plenty of buyers out there looking to buy in Morley. And the reason is, is because of the amenities that are afforded to people who live in uh, uh, Morley. The new train station's obviously a bit of a, uh, a hook for people that want to move to the area and the proximity to the city. So you get actually really good bang for your buck in, uh, in Morley. A lot of first home buyers are looking in that area and even some downsizers we're finding are looking in that area. We've got, we need more stock. That's what we need, you know, 9371-1000, give us a call, or Steve Lay, sorry, steve at lay2.com.au. Maylands, normally quite quiet, one or two sales a week. Last week, nine sales, five apartments and four houses. So I think it's due to the lack of stock in other suburbs where people are actually now 
having another look at my lands and they've actually realised that they can actually get some value for money in there. Maybe the, uh, the sellers are actually a little bit more approachable, but hey, they're finally seeing value in that suburb. Nine sales, great result for Maylands. So if you want to participate in the upswing, you need to put your property on the market and find out what the buyers are actually prepared to pay. You do have a captive audience. I want to revisit something else with Leitu Real Estate. We've actually got a promotion running at the moment, whether you know about it or not. If you're a seller and you sell with us and settle before June 30, 2021, you have a chance to win $250,000. As a buyer, the buyers also participate because if they buy and settle before June 30, 2021, you have a chance to win $100,000. And we haven't forgot the property managements either. If you've got a property you want leased out, if you sign up a three-year uh, management agreement with us, you also have a chance to win $100,000. Look forward to uh, discussing that with you. If you want to do uh, some business with us, 9371 or steve at lay2.com.au. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate you watching. Look forward to talking to you soon. I'm Steve Lay. Ciao for now.